one at Char from Char's Fashion Agent. I told you I was going to finish this hat tomorrow. And then I started putting this on there. Whatever. We're, let's just finish this up. <laughs> I'm already on the back. <laughs> let's just finish this thing up. And then I'll get ready to go tonight, later, um, for my appointment. And then settle in for the night. <laughs> and aren't we having some weird weather lately? Like, it's supposed to be warm, partially warm during the week. Who thinks that's weird? I think that's weird. I really do. I think that's a, that's a bit on the weird side. Okay, see, like, that's capping off smaller. So we're actually really almost done with this hat with all this single crochet. Okay all this single crochet going on. That's right. Um, I was like, you know what? Why can't I just put this down? Whatever, let me finish this off. And show you guys the finish tonight rather than in the morning. Why not, right? Why not? Why put off what you can do? Why, why do tomorrow what you can do today? It was basically, it's why put something off and do it tomorrow when you can finish it today. So, <laughs> yeah, right? Might as well just finish her on up. Finish her on up. And like I said, this is the beginning color tone as the band part here, the beginning band. So it it works. It works. Now in some parts of when you're doing this wider part of the band, if you feel that you need to take it in before you get to the back, you just go ahead and skip one and just go like that. Pull it in. Nobody's going to know. Be like, oh, great. Great work on that. Nobody will ever know. Especially when you get towards the top like this. Because you need to do that anyway. So before you even get to the back, you actually need to do that on a couple of them. And then, like, he's already done that. And then, like, you pull in the next one. And then go in the next one. And then, you know. Yeah, no. Because we're already towards the back. And um, I'm going to do that thing. And see how much tighter this is on the cranial. Hey, look, everyone. It's just about there. Really, it is. And then it just gets closed off and then ta-da! <laughs> right? Yeah. So, let's see. One more, and then I'm going to cinch it. Now, instead of skipping three, I'm going to skip over one, two, three, four, and take that over. I know that's a lot. You're like, well, why don't you just skip three? All right, we'll skip three, just for you. Remember to keep the part on here as in as possible so the Ann Rankin you know just Ann had posted a picture of her daughter I guess her daughter's still in the hospital poor thing <sighs> doll you've been in the hospital since like what summer when are they letting you out when are you gonna feel better sweetie she had a heart 
bypass surgery. Oh my gosh, too young. Too young for this. You gotta be taking care of yourself. See, and she's like, what, 18, 19 years old? Okay, look. Even if they are of age, they're still our babies. Trust me. It's still either a little boy or a little girl. This is how our children are. Still think of them as a little boy or a little girl. Even though they're grown, mostly on their own. Then you gotta wonder, you know, like what's gonna happen to them, you know, when we're no longer around. You gotta worry about that, like how they're gonna survive without us. See, that's that's a lot smaller now because I'm skipping a couple, and I'm already I'm already right here towards the back. And I'm going to skip three and I guess I'll try to keep that one tight and I'm just going to loop that through two, two loops and then I'm going to bring you down here to my work. Uh, my back's starting to, you know. So let's bring you down here to the work. I've sat too long. So my back and my hip are hurting me. I'm not supposed to sit this long. I can soldier through it. Skipping one and going on to the next. Skip one and go on to the next. That's what you need to do now. Because now we're getting again to the back. Now this is going to be a lot shorter video than the other two. Sorry about those other two being so long, but now we're really getting to the point where we're going to start closing off the top of this hat because, look, we're going to start closing that off. Um, so, yes, yes. So skip two of those and go into the third one again trying to keep that there so let's skip two of those go on to the third go on to the next one go on to the next we're going to try to clean line it now. I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. Because I'm tired. So, anyway, kind of had a long day today, haven't we? Um, apparently, Salem, Massachusetts had an earthquake. That's, you know, not uncommon for the East Coast to have an earthquake. Okay, now we're really down to the smallest part of this. Oh, nose itches. I think that's because, let's see, okay, yes, we are. 
back to the back again and again. Some skippage. Pull it, except for this time, I just want you to pull that loop through. And now what we're going to do with the top of the hat is, is this. Now not, not everybody does this, but this is just one of my techniques. I find this to be very easy for when you fast set off the top of the hat and you want to make it a very clean line. And then you just turn it and bring that back through. Because you got to remember, this is the inside of the hat. Okay, this is the inside of the hat. Okay. And I would say bring you guys up here. I would say we have a done hat. This hat, this hat is done. Yes, this hat is done. Let me clip that. Make sure that things aren't all discombobulated and confused. Confused. Let's make sure things are not confused. <laughs> And then, because you guys know, I like to make sure that this is nice and sturdy. Uh, and I will go ahead and we'll clip that. But not all the way down, I always leave a little bit. And we already know that this is sturdy, but I'm going to go ahead and tie another joined knot at the bottom with the tail just to make it even more sturdy because you guys know I like sturdy product. That's just me. And then turn it right side out. I really got wish you guys could see the actual color of this hat. Okay, so you see that there's like this line down the back. That is your your seam line down the back of this, right? So now that this is actually finished. This is actually a finished hat. I mean, you can turn it however you want. I'm just like, I'm not too sure. I like it for me, you know. I, just, I have a particular taste um, in my garments. I mean, you don't have to necessarily count that as the side or as the back. You can take that, you can wear this hat in any angle. Serious. But I think that that is more for the back. For how this is made. And then you can wear this because it's a bit on the poofage right here. You could basically wear this as a beret. That's why I make these designs. You can also wear it as a beret. But like I said, I'm not too sure it's to my liking for my particular taste. I mean, I love the color. I'm just not too sure how it looks on me because of this part. Take my glasses off to see how it looks. 
glasses. I know you guys have been so used to me with no glasses for a while, for a long while. <laughs> and then now all of a sudden I have to wear glasses. So, uh, like I said, you know, you can either wear this like a beret or you can just wear it, pull it over your ears and just wear it. And it's a winter hat. But like I said, I'm not too sure that it's something that I particularly like on me. It's warm though, I'll tell you that much. It is warm. I know this is a Jeffree Star thing. But I wanna see if you guys can actually see the purple pants. And I don't think that you can. I don't know. It's the lighting in here. Um, because I did get this, just get this finished up. And it's nailed 6 on In the PM. And now this hat is finished. And I have plenty of yarn left. Um, so now that I have plenty of yarn left that can be used for a pair of gloves. So, um, I'll be making a pair of gloves to go with the hat. Yeah, I'll be making a pair of gloves to go with the hat. That works, right? Okay, so, um, since I'm not really feeling this for me, I'll probably just give it away. Um, if you like hats like this. You know, if it's like this in the back, like I said, it's kind of like a beret. And you guys know I have my hair in a ponytail. So it fits over a ponytail and you can wear it with your glasses on. Or if you have bushy hair. My hair is a little tamer today than it was yesterday. Trust me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed actually seeing this hat come together. Excuse me. Um, so I have to go get ready to relax. And I gotta get my hip off this chair. Oh my gosh. If I sit too long in this chair, mm-mm, train wreck to the spine. So anyway, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys well soon. Um, and I hope you got to get to that link in the part two of this hat because this is part three to finish this hat off and um you know like I said like I like the hat in general I just I'm not sure it's my taste it's a nice hat it really is it's a nice hat I just really wish that you guys could see the purple that I see. This, this is not blue. On camera, it's blue. But in person, this Karin yarn, that's the name of this yarn, it's Karin. Um, this Karin yarn is actually a different purple tone. So it's ombre purples. Um, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. I really got to get to go in um, so I can get some sleep and get my hip off of this painful chair. It's only comfortable for so long. So, anyway, good night again. <laughs> good night again. Good night, John Boy. <laughs> good night, Mary Ellen. <laughs> good night, YouTube creators. Good night, my fellow YouTube creators is what I meant. <laughs>